Hey, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Carly and I'm from createmess.com and today I'm doing a um, an art journal supplies video to show you the like supplies that I have that I'll be using in my new art journal. Um, now if you've seen my previous video, um, which I'll link down below, I talked about how I'm going to use this as my new art journal. Um, it's just an old encyclopedia and I have um, gutted it down a fair bit so it only has a couple, well half the pages that it used to have. Um, and it was my full intention to use this as my art journal and I will be using this as an art journal in the future. But okay, I got given this guy um, recently and it's not, um, it is not an expensive art journal, I believe it's just a really, really cheap one. It says that the brand there is, I'm not going to pronounce this right, I'm sure, but Montmartre or something like that. Um, it looks like it's a French word to me, but I could be completely wrong. Um, and this is just a usual sketching journal. It says um, 150 GSM, acid free, A4 size. Um, but um, because this was given to me and it was, you know, it's a bit of a, um, something nice, I guess, and fresh and new and exciting, I want to play with the new toy. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to use this guy as my, um, my, my journal for this, this challenge that I'm setting myself, which is to do some art journaling. Um, I'm not sure how the pages are going to go because it is a cheaper um, one, but the um, paper itself feels really thick and I just haven't had the pleasure of using you know, a new journal like this in a long, 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 long time. Um, most of my art journals are like cheap spiral bound or they're the recycled altered books like this one. So um, I'm going to play with my new toy. So that's going to be my art journal that I'm going to be using for a while. This here is my drawer of paint that I have and I've got to be honest I so want some new paint um, these guys here are almost empty this brand um, I, I know that I've had these paints here for almost no it would be over 10 years now well over 10 years um, these guys are pretty old as well um, more like seven or eight years old um, I do have these little, um, so those other ones were all acrylics. These ones are like watercolors and I've discovered recently that a lot of them have dried out because these are really old as well. Um, so they're, they're all just dry in these little tubes. Um, so I've been thinking about opening them up and creating some kind of like little pan for them like um, turning them into um, like a palette and using them straight from the like the palette um, so that's something I can do uh, I do have these little guys here that are running out as well um, they're newer they're maybe four four years old um, and I do have some like little ones here that I bought for specific projects maybe a couple of years ago. Um, this one as well I bought for a specific project. This one is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Um, I got it from, I want to say Kmart. Yep, Kmart. Um, and it's absolutely horrible to work with. Um, so not going that cheap ever again. Um, that's probably the cheapest tube that I ever got, but I wanted to get some fluoro colors. I started off with this one and it was a mistake. 
So yeah, my, my paints are really, really old and it makes me sad because I would like some shiny brand new ones. Um, but unfortunately, it's just not in the budget at the moment. Um, so I will use what I've got. Um, and I guess my art journal will be less about, um, you know, it's not about making beautiful works of art that I'm planning to sell. It's all about just an expression of ideas and getting creative down on paper. So these will do. Um, and I will upgrade eventually, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, but it's just not feasible at the moment. This here is um, a really old container, but it's my palette. Um, and this is a trick that I learnt years and years ago to use as a palette. Um, what you can do with like, if you're using acrylics or watercolor paint um, and they dry out really quickly, but say you're doing a huge uh, big project and you've mixed up just the right color but you can't finish using that color in the one sitting. Um, what you can do is you can, um, I don't know if I've got it in this, no. Nah. So you can get some like paper towel and wet it and then put down a layer of like this baking paper and the moist wet towel underneath will keep your paint moist for longer. And then you can just, um, you know, pop on the lid and put it in your fridge or in your freezer and the paint will stay wet for longer. Um, so that's one reason why I got like this really shallow um, container with a lid so that I could keep my paint fresh for longer. Um, I just have a really cheap roll of um, baking paper um, that I use um, and when I'm doing a project I usually just um, rip off a layer of it and you know stick it down and voila fresh fresh palette um, with paint that I can mix and as you can see <laughs> when I'm done often um, I don't even bother to chuck out you know that that bit for a little while I might just put a whole new fresh layer of the um, stuff down so I have um, this little shelving unit right next to my desk and this has a lot of the like supplies that I'll be using in my art journaling as well. Um, so I've got up the top here like some pencils hiding behind this guy. I've got some gesso, um, some white paint there. All my paintbrushes are behind here. Um, Things like Mod Podge, um, Impasto Medium, which is like um, it's embossing paste, um, some dimensional magic punches. Here are some what you may call these, some ink pads, um, some pens, a couple of different like surface pens as well. So like I've got a vellum, a vellum writer. I've got um, a chalk. I think this one is a chalk. Pen. Yeah, that one says a chalk pen. Uh, some other things um, that are like a commonly used that I'll commonly use as well um, are all my like um, sprays. I have some here, some zots for sticking down some more thicker dimensional things. This little basket does have some um, like tape got some um, can't think of the word <laughs> it's like foam foam sheets um, I've got some like Swarovski gems and stuff in there as well so yeah that's my shelving unit there so this is my pencil collection which you saw from my shelves before um, I have them in a Corona beer box um, that I've put like masking tape on just to strengthen it up a bit. Uh, one day I'd, I would like to cover it and make it look really really pretty but I just haven't got around to it yet. 
um, but I really like this box because I've got all the pencils in there arranged in like little sections arranged um, mostly by color um, I, mean, I have a wide range of pencils as well I've got like um, a lot whole heap of Derwent pencils uh, from um, a lot of these are from my childhood actually <laughs> um, some of the better colors are almost gone um, I also have these ones which were from um, when I was a little bit older so these ones are that Derwent artist um, I've got oh these ones are the super old these ones are Derwent studio <laughs> um, and I also have uh, if I can find one um, just uh, the really cheap I think Corolla, C C Crayola I probably won't be able to find any now oh look these ones are Stedler so they must be really old as well <laughs> um, yeah I've got like a whole heap of different brands of pencils in here um, the ones that I'm thinking of the I'm sure I've got like some Crayola ones or something that are also um, yeah here we go Crayola can you see that got some Crayola ones and I believe those ones are also watercolor ones which is why they're all um, yeah so yeah that's my pencil collection and even though I've got so many I always want more like why is that the case <laughs> why this is my gesso primer um, the brand is the art studio and that is a fairly cheap brand um, when I'm trying something new I usually go cheap because you don't know if it's going to work for you um, I don't want to waste my money on really expensive products um, so I um, ended up buying this one I've got to say that I th I'm, I'm guessing that the more expensive ones are going to be nicer and smoother this one is kind of really gritty um, but it does the trick it's it's a primer and a sealer so you can use it to prime your pages to create a nice um, surface so yeah this one has got like the oil at the top it needs a good stir because I haven't used it in a little while so that's my gesso I'll show off my um, my brush collection as well this um, collection has been used um, I mean collected over many many years as well um, so I've slowly built it up I've got like quite a few of these really older ones that have really hard bristles and they've just been poorly looked after and then I've got nicer newer ones um, and then you know lots of different kinds of brush types a couple of different pal palette knights in there knives in there and stuff these ones are all cheap ones as well I haven't um, like even though I said that this is collection has taken years to build up because it has um, they have there were all relatively cheap brushes nothing nothing special about these bristles uh, sure one day I'd like to buy some more expensive um, brushes but at the moment I haven't been able to justify it I do like my little container um, I don't know if he's going to be able to see it but it says lazy Sunday um, and it's got a picture of a, a kitty cat lying on a book that the lady was reading and I believe that is what my cats do when I'm in the middle of creating they will come up and just lie all over everything so thanks cats they're always good help I do have a selection this is just a small sample of um, my mist sprays um, so I haven't ever used these in art journaling before these ones I have like since the last time I art journaled um, I've purchased these guys uh, so I've used these in scrapbooking and art projects but not really in art journaling so I'm really looking forward to using these sprays I think that they are a fantastic um, value value for money because uh, you get quite a bit in the bottle and they last for so many projects um, this one's probably I think the one that I've got the least amount in there um, he's the most used 
but he's still going he's still got over halfway full so yeah if you are strapped for cash and would like to buy some products that are going to last you a long time definitely get some mist sprays another supply that i wanted to talk to you about was my little rollers so the little like paint rollers i got one with hearts on it and then um, chevron so it's got like an interchangeable head there um, these are a really nice way of getting some texture into your background um, again i do have lots of stamps but I've never really used them in my art journaling before so I would like to change that and I think these roller ones are just a really quick easy accessible way of getting some texture um, dimension down on your backgrounds the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about was this um, impasto medium um, it's also known as quite a few things like embossing paste modeling paste um, I think there's even more names for it just depending on um you know your brand but basically they're exactly the same things they just create a bit of dimension on your page um yeah modeling paste this one's a light one so you can have like different thicknesses and stuff like that uh, but it just creates a bit of like 3d dimension on your page um, and because it's white you can mix it up with the paint that you're using um, so yeah it's it's really good um, like an easy thing to use to create some texture on your pages this is a sketchbook that I've got um, it's super old I haven't used it much though um, but I just wanted to show you some of the um, oh, the doodles but I've been like practicing my heads and stuff, trying to get into some kind of groove on how, um, like that's that's the first page there, some kind of groove on back into um, drawing faces because I haven't done it in so long. These ones didn't have any kind of reference at all. This was just all in my head um, and so I might have been better if I had a reference but I just wanted to sort of find discover my style before I start getting into the art journaling again um, one of my favorite things to do is it will besides doodling is to draw heads so um, that's that's sort of what um, the goal was of these little doodles was just to f find my style again I guess um, and I think think I'm sort of sort of getting back into that but yeah um, that is my sort of art journaling supplies video uh, as you can see you don't need to have the newest brightest or most awesome stuff um, you can have some old stuff you can have some cheap stuff what matters is having fun um, and expressing yourself creatively so I hope that um, you've enjoyed this video um, give me a thumbs up if you do um, do watch out for future videos I am planning on doing some shares and even some um, like videos of me doing some art journaling so please let me know in the comments below if you're excited about all this as much as I am um, and also if you have also got some like art journaling pages um, please feel free to let me know I'd love to check you guys out um thank you so much for watching do keep an eye on createmess.com i'll be posting lots there as well thanks everyone for watching and i will see you next time bye